Hey YouTube family, how you doing out there? Welcome to Underdeveloped. And today, today, <laughs> we face. got a review for you yeah. for the movie Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. Mm -hmm. So Tom Clancy's Without Remorse is an Amazon original film directed by Stefano Salima, who is mainly known for the Sicario sequel, Day of the Soldado. Not necessarily a bad film, but mm. not necessarily as good as the sequel. No, definitely not as good as the first I mean, I mean, sorry, not necessarily as good as the first. Um, and this movie is also written by Taylor Sheridan and Will Staples. Will, uh, Will is Will Staples is mainly known for writing famous games such as Call of Duty, Modern yeah. Warfare Three, and um, Need for Speed Rivals. Need for Speed Rivals. And oh, Taylor, uh, Taylor, Taylor has as a quite an impressive resume. Taylor has done movies such as both Sicarios. He's done Hella High Water. He's done, and he's also one of the co-creators of Yellowstone, which is a show starring uh, Kevin Costner and is highly reviewed, you know, mm -hmm. pretty popular it seems. Yeah. So this dude, so, you know I mean? You yeah, think, he gets around. So you think with a, um, with a team that is behind you that they will make something pretty awesome, adapted off of a Tom Clancy uh, novel, which is usually well-received. He is a well-known yeah. writer. So before we dive into the film, we have to talk about Tom Clancy himself. Tom Clancy was a renowned novelist, mostly known for mil military and or espionage novels, you know, and he tells these stories with a distinct ultra-realistic style. But here we come to the biggest problem of this movie. This is not Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. This movie is a lot more like iRobot or World War Z in the sense that they took a cr acclaimed, well-known novel and just slap the name on another fucking, on a random ass movie just because they have the rights. This has nothing to do with what it was. I'm like, Hollywood is known for doing shit like that. And so I hate it. that shit. Yes, I agree. So I hate that shit so yeah, much. Yeah, it's just annoying as fuck. It's like, what's even the point? Like, could you at least like be a little similar? For fuck's sakes, even if David Lynch's Dune was closer than this was, what the hell? Yeah, right. Yeah, and that, that movie completely undercuts the themes of its fucking book, and that's still better adaptation than this shit. I look kind of buff right now. I thought it would be military seal. <laughs> this the film that we have right now like this thing what whatever this is that this thing that is very distinctly not Tom Clancy's without remorse this has been development hell since the book came out in 93 yeah it's been like 18 years so many people been attached to it at one point fucking Keanu Reeves was supposed to play John Clark fucking I love Reeves Keanu fucking Tom Hardy was also supposed to play I love Hardy, Hardy Toms you know, this isn't going to make any sense, considering they don't see what happens when we're not recording. And they don't understand this joke. Okay. So let's get into plot stuff. Yeah. Yay! I do the kind of buffer. But... Right okay. I, I, I look like Michael B. Jordan if he was light-skinned right now. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but man, you're kind of overselling yourself a bit. <laughs> you know you can fuck off. <laughs> so this movie centers around good old fashioned John Kelly with Michael B. Jordan. We start off. He's a Navy SEAL in Aleppo, doing things in Aleppo. He thinks he's fighting Syrians, but he's like, oh wait a minute, these Syrians are very Russian smelling. Oh wow, turns out they are Russia. Wow, who would have thought? And then later, a couple months pass, and he's his home with his wife and kid. Well, un unborn kid, and they die. They all die. Yeah, the fucking assholes. Russians stormed the building. Wife dead. Unborn child. Never born. Tragic as shit. Fucking Michael B. Jordan looks like he's gonna have a heart attack. But hey, it's but we still have a plot because one of the Russians escapes, and and fucking Michael B. Jordan goes through no. He goes through a lot of shit just to find out who this guy is that escaped. Like he literally sets a car on fire. Goes inside of it and interrogates someone in the car. Who would do that? There is so much weird with that scene. But fuck it. Yeah, the physics makes... And literally in the scene beforehand, he literally poured liquor over his head. Yeah. Yeah. He's and like, he's 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 like,
Should be he, the Human Torch. Mm-hmm. All right, he played the Human Torch. <laughs> All right, so him, so him interrogating this guy in the flaming car, which is still ridiculous. This eventually leads him to uncovering this conspiracy to start a war between America and Russia for some reason. That's the plot of the movie. It's kind of out there, but fuck it. It's Tom Clancy stuff. But more real, but more ridiculous and less realistic. Tom Clancy's Without Remorse displays, I have to say, the greatest treatment of a black <laughs> man in American society by any law enforcement I've ever seen ever. <laughs> oh I God. mean, he's always going to drown the senator, fucked up a bunch of prison guards, and SWAT team motherfuckers, and literally set a car on fire mm -hmm. in public. In public. And well, and killed somebody in the car and got away. Yeah. And for doing all that, he got some money and he and he pretty much got a whole new identity. Mm -hmm. John Clark. Yeah. Just wow, like. I mean, cool. I mean, I wish the world <laughs> worked like that. Yeah, if only. <laughs> I mean, I mean, shit. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's like who's thick? Who's dick is he sucking to get that kind of treatment, man? All right. Jesus. I mean, I don't think white people get that kind of treatment. Usually not. No. <laughs> I want to live in Tom Clancy's universe. <laughs> He's a black man. Being this absurd creates a disconnect between your... Because what you're basically doing is you have this... The super realistic Tom Clancy license and you're filling it with, like, this action movie hero, which is just a very weird fit. Especially since, like, he doesn't play, like... He doesn't play, like, an average Tom Clancy action hero where it's, like, based on the real world. No, like, this is, like, 90s Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of stuff. It's kind of weird. It doesn't mesh well. And adding to this... And adding this feeling of dis disconnection is just these bland characters. John's wife is only on screen for less than a minute before she's killed off. I'm like, how are we supposed to get invested in her as a character? Like, Because I didn't feel sad when she died. I, just, I felt like it was part of the plot. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it felt like she was only even birthed just to move this plot along. Like, oh, yeah. It doesn't... Yeah, like, like, you, like, 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 you want... So, for us to get invested into this character will make it more traumatic when she's just taken away. Mm-hmm. But you don't really care if she's taken away. It's sad, but, you're not, but you don't really care because you're not really invested. Yeah. It's you're, like she's only there to die to propel him to go into full nut job them. Plot itself doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the main character, like, the main characters are pretty naive. Like, there's this whole, like, there's a lot of chess metaphors about, like, the kings and the pawns and all that stuff, but it doesn't really work. John struggles to comprehend that the, the assassin are just, the assassin can just be the pawn. Like, he struggles, like, oh, well, it's assassin. He must be the big bad. I'm like, no, he's an assassin. Someone hired his ass to fucking do some shit. Yeah, like, I agree with it. That was, like, one of my biggest problems with the movie. You know, it just... It's like, how can an assassin... You know I mean? Like, be a... Po I mean, be a king. I mean, like... Mm -hmm. If he's... Why would... Like, usually powerful people... But the kings are the people who are actually in power, like the senator. Mm -hmm. They're kings. They're in power. They have power. You're talking about just a foot soldier, basically. You know I mean? He's you. And it was so obvious that was you. So why would you go into that thinking, oh, you're killing a king? <laughs> I'm just so naive of him. You know? wouldn't feel... I wouldn't feel right without mentioning Michael B. Jordan's performance because he was really good. He was like the one. Good oh actor yes, in the this. one pretty bright spot in this movie was, of course, Michael B. Jordan. He's one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. Yeah. Fuck that we didn't mention this before, but yeah, he he pretty much carried this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, he, he made, was the he was the best performance. Easy, hands he, down, he, no he, question. He, he made the character. He he made a character I really wouldn't care about if it played by anybody else. You know yeah, I mean? like he turned a one-dimensional character into a two-dimensional character. Yeah, just by his performance alone, you know. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of duality within his performances, you know. But he, like he's good at balancing like different aspects of, of a character's personality. Yeah, jo yeah, Jody Turner Smith as Grey's niece. I mean, she was kind of bland. I mean, it seems like especially the scene where um she was talking to Jamie Bell's character. I mean, it was a, it was, it was, it's a movie that sh it's, it was a line that should have been delivered with some kind of like, like. Passion mm -hmm. and empathy and sadness, regret and or slight anger, yeah. undertones of anger, undertones of anger, and it's like she just delivered with so wooden. And it's like ugh, it's honestly, like, like I feel nothing. Yeah, for I, this character, I think I feel, I have the impression that quite a few people were just reading off their lines, including yeah, her. that's exactly what it sounded like. You know, um, or for this movie, I would say a score. You know, two point five. It's gonna be a two point five out of four. I yeah, I was thinking two point five because it's like, because 
it's de- it's tolerable. It's not a bad mm. movie. It's just boring. Like it's average. Like, it's just I mean, I don't necessarily really bored. It just, it just, it has no characters that, are, that they're, they're are really engaging. Well, that's the thing. Like, like, but it's good action sequences, see. and I kind of bought their revenge journey for a little while. But their, their revenge journey didn't lead to anywhere productive. Well, that's the thing. Like, I need and the I, ending was kind of flat. Like, I, I feel like I need characters from like in most scenarios. So like the fact that there weren't any interesting characters for me just to latch on to, it's like, you know. Yeah, I understand it, but I still was for me. I was at least interested through the action and and the revenge. Aspect, I'm always a sucker for revenge stories. <laughs> well, with saying that, uh, we close out. So, yeah, like so. and subscribe, you know, the usuals. You see all the mm-hmm. we all have lots of social stuff, we have lots us. of social media all around us. Follow Feel it free. all, yeah. and you're gonna keep up with us. We're gonna keep dropping stuff. I hope you drop stuff mm-hmm. on Twitter, like mm-hmm. clips of like clips of our latest videos and stuff like that. Yeah, like okay, good. Mm-hmm. And it's like fun stuff to like, you know, stuff we did for. Instagram shit like that is fun stuff for this news to be, be big on super news any mm-hmm. any new news that come out a little sort of 5v trailer we post that or like any other new trailers for something else or news mm-hmm. post that and old footage of us other mm-hmm. how you used to do on Instagram the fact that that's, that's content on top of like our stuff yeah you know what I mean like, keep that shit flooded mm-hmm. and yeah and stay, stay tuned yeah stay tuned we'll have plenty more we'll have plenty more to, we'll get, look, we'll have plenty more to throw at you so hit that notification bell so you stay updated with all of our crap as soon yes. as we give it to you. We'll be seeing you all next time. Next time. I'm out. Lunch, Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Yes. Yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman. <laughs>